so assalamu alaikum hussain how are you walaikum assalam alhamdulillah sir ji what about you alhamdulillah i am good as well okay so can you please introduce yourself yes sir myself mohammad hussain jangi i belongs to this uh, kota du tehsil chok sarvashri and i have completed my graduation recently from uh, the government college university faisalabad mm -hmm. uh, and i have done my graduation in bs honors mlt medical laboratory technologist and uh, i am uh, eagerly and deeply interested in medical field so i have uh, also uh, done my internship in two different labs where i did uh, different uh, uh, functions Uh, like lab testing sample te uh, sampling and invoice formation patient data entry okay okay that's great okay so i have uh, more questions for you so do you find this course of medical billing beneficial for your professional career like you have just completed your two months training session with us so do you think that this will help you in your future yes sir i find it really very beneficial for me for my career for my future as uh, i have a uh, listened about medical billing from one of my friends and uh, when i uh, personally searched about uh, medical billing and i find it very 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 uh, beneficial for my career okay so wish you best of luck for your next and viewers okay so we have some questions regarding the medical billing so can you please explain the key steps involved in medical billing cycle so what are the basic steps which are involved in medical billing cycle yes sir Yes, sir. Uh, actually, the medical billing cycle, uh, also known as RCM, Revenue Cycle Management. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, uh, we will uh, register patient. Patient registration uh, registration is done. Then after patient registration, registration, patient will uh, visit the uh, provider uh, and uh, get their services. Then we uh, get uh, get more information uh, about patient. Then we make a claim. and uh, processed that claim uh, and uh, enter charges charges entries and then claim uh, submission after claim submission the payment uh, payments have been done uh, we will also done insurance verification before the uh, claim submission so that uh, our claim will not deny or any rejection to avoid any reje rejections after payment projection if there is any deny or uh, claim rejection then follow up is uh, involved in Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So, can you please let us know, like, what is the difference between ICD and CPT codes, and why are they important in medical billing? ICD codes and CPT codes are internal. ICD codes are basically internationally classified diagnoses, and these codes codes are used for diagnosis purposes and any disease. Uh, if patient have any disease for a uh, uh, diagnosis. then these codes are entered in icd codes and cpt codes are current uh, procedural terminologies and these codes are uh, refers for any uh, surgeries uh, any surgeries or uh, uh, different process involved during a uh, check up okay so how would you approach resolving a claim that has been underpaid by an insurance like if a claim is underpaid by an insurance and like they have denied some sort of cpts okay so how would you proceed for the next action for unpaid uh, unpaid uh, claims there should be any uh, uh, coding errors or any technical errors we should uh, resolve these errors and uh, resubmit these claims got it okay can you please differentiate between the clean claims and dirty claims and why is submitting clean claims crucial clean claims are actually the uh, uh, that claims that are without any errors mm -hmm. and dirty claims have may some errors or mistakes uh, in uh, uh, billing so we should uh, so uh, billing uh, clean error uh, clean claims are essential because uh, to avoid any denials rejections which is okay so the last question i have for you so uh, how do you explain the concept of patient copayments and deductibles to a patient like what is the basic difference between the copayments and the deductibles deductibles are actually the amount that uh, uh, that patient pays uh, Uh, for, uh, for the uh, for activate their insurance and co-payments are uh, actually the payments that uh, uh, patient is responsible to pay at the time of uh, checkup uh, for, from the provider. Okay. By its own mm -hmm. co-payments. So you yes. can say that the co-payment is kind of a uh, checking fees. Once you just meet a provider yes. or you just get any services, you have to pay those kind of a payments right at the time of services to the provider. 
yes these payments are by, paid by its own pocket or own okay. by its own pocket Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, Hussain, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate your effort. We will provide you your remarks on this interview. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. Have a good day then. Thank you so much, sir. Take okay. care. Allah Take Hafiz. Care. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.